Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.19. In this tutorial we are going to be covering creative tabs, which are once again, as I have been saying in all these tutorials, very simple. So let's just go ahead and let's get started, there's not much to this really. So all we want is in our main class we're going to create a public static final creative mode tab and I'm just going to call this tab right I'm going to say that's equal to a new creative mode tab there you go and this does require something in the constructor I believe um, which should be the name so I think we can just put in mod ID there Yes, that is correct. So that is basically just the name. Uh, we can, yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, and then we just want the icon. So what will that be? So what do we want to do as the icon? Uh, I think we'll use one of our items. So we'll go item in it dot, um, we'll go just example item. Now, as you can see, we've called dot get on the item and it's not working because it's expecting an item stack. What on earth is an item stack? No idea what that is. So basically an item stack is, as it says in the name really, it's a stack of items. So an item stack holds everything about an item. So it holds all of the NBT, it holds the stack size, it holds the durability, it holds everything, you know. Uh, the item is just the functionality, the item stack is the in-world instance of that item, basically. So how do we convert an item stack to an item? Uh, an item to an item stack is what I meant. <laughs> Well, it's, it's pretty simple, actually. So all you need to do is take that out and return a new item stack. And that will then take in our item. That works fine. However, um, there is a better way. And that is simply just to call .get default instance. Boom, that works. Now, what's going on here? Uh, wants us to annotate with not null sure it, it doesn't matter um fantastic that's it now you can override other methods in here as well um if they want to show up hello <laughs> so there is a method here called fill item list um essentially what this does is this will fill the items. So this is what happens when the creative mode tab tries to fill with items. Now what you can do here is you can order the items in whatever order you want. So for example, you could say, um, is this the right method? This doesn't feel right. Have they changed this? It's not actually showing me the methods I want it to show me, but yeah, so fill item list, and then yeah, you can you can manually uh, fill them how you want to fill them. Basically, I'm not going to do that. Um, that's a lot of messing around, uh, and not really worth it. So yeah, it's up to you if you choose to do that. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's actually use this creative mode tab, shall we? So let's do that for all of our items. So let's say instead of creative mode tab here. We want to say tutorial mod dot tab and we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it in here as well and just remove those imports and we're going to do the same in our block in it here so there and there and just remove that as well fantastic so the final thing we need to go ahead and do is add it to our lang so we know what the name of the um, 
what the name of the tab will be called. So for that, it's just item group dot, and then whatever we put in as that string, which we just put in our mod ID, which is tutorial mod. So um, tutorial tab. Pretty simple. And a completely unrelated thing, which I just thought we might as well do, is the pack empty meta. Uh, we might as well just quickly do this here. So all this asks for is our mod ID. Uh, so tutorial mod. It doesn't really matter. It's a really minor thing. It doesn't change anything, but it's just something you kind of do. It, yeah, it, as I say, it doesn't really matter. But let's run the game. Um, just check that this works. And yeah. Okay, here we are. So now, as you can see, there's an extra arrow. We can just go to there. There's our tutorial tab. It has our item. It has its name. That's pretty much it. So I hope you guys did find this tutorial useful. If you did, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really found it useful, please do be sure to share it around. I'm sure other people might find it useful too. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.